Welcome everybody to the Some Ordinary Podcast. I am here with my lovely co-host Muda, who does not have an AR-15 in the background today, and Caleb, who probably does. Uh, I do, yeah. There's actually a... Um... <laughs> All right, our lovely guest on this episode is the legendary Azzyland. Hi, guys! Who, um, it's our honor to have you here. That's going. Oh, it's my honor to be here. Thanks, guys. Oh, God, you're really making the drama podcast rounds, I guess. I know! <laughs> What other podcast have you been on? Uh, I was only on TBH's podcast right now. There's oh, okay. There's a few other people who invited me, but like, I might go. I don't know. I like. It's a weird thing where like I, I don't like talking shit, but also like she she stay bit. liking like <laughs> as he's a copycat in 2023. So I kind of like. <laughs> she's like, like yeah. all these like still tweets and doing yeah. that now, like even I'll, after all this. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like you would think like things would just get better, and she would just stop. But oh, there's so much stuff that's happened. She also like the, well, yeah. with her, she's clearly <laughs> yeah. <unhinged>. The she, <laughs> the she yeah. in this scenario, for those of you that are unaware, is you know Voldemort of YouTube. It's Sniper Wolf herself. <laughs> Voldemort. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Basically, um, if you're unaware of what's Such been going on, Voldemort has been stealing Azzyland's style for years, allegedly, and has kept mm -hmm. telling her audience that Azzyland is stealing her style. Now, who allegedly. are you going to believe? No. Azzyland, the person that never made wild accusations, or Sniper Wolf, the person that has ten times the views? And that's... <laughs> That's kind of how the cookie crumbled, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not in the market of watching you or Sniper Wolf's TikTok stuff, but I just want to clarify for the record, right? Like, obviously, you guys are mostly reacting to other content. You at least show, like, the, the you credit the author, or at least, like, you show them. You're not making an active round to hide so, <laughs> like TikTok Oh, is. no. I mean, again, like, it's not, I wasn't, to be completely honest, like, I, I wasn't always crediting. I didn't, it's not something, okay. So I have uh, gone back and I've started mm -hmm. crediting and I've been trying to credit. Um, I, I think it's just like, I didn't know at first that like it was, <sighs> I, right. I didn't know it was a thing that uh, should be done. I know that sounds so silly, but I always like didn't mind when people used my content. So I, I assumed that that was fine. And that was not I, a I, fair, yeah. that was not I mean, a fair assumption. I, I think that Jack definitely set a new precedent yeah. for sure in terms of, in terms of crediting people. And also with like the whole evolution of reaction content, it's changed a lot. Yeah, over the yeah, years it's like it's lot, been yeah. yeah it's it's right, like because like, and i also ahead, don't Robert. plan on continuing to do reaction content necessarily so i'm, I'm trying to figure out what else to do right <laughs> well, whatever that. you do i'm sure sniper wolf will be really successful um, <laughs> yeah. but, you're, but you're not you're not you're not you're not teleporting to people's houses right like fucking any of your critics yeah <laughs> yeah because I, I mean also like yeah to, to be fair too like there's not the, the levels of making just content in general if you if if you are making videos in which you can just post it you can record it and post it and have it edited up in a day mm -hmm. chances are pretty high the difference between that like reactions and gaming and and um you know talking about news whatever it is One's not really the much better than the other when you really boil it down. There's people like yeah. Mike Klum who make videos on YouTube, uh, and they're like documentaries, mm -hmm. and he releases them yeah. for free. Like those are people who who are really making a different level of content that can can talk shit about everyone. But um, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a very vague gray area, uh, and I think what really matters is just being a good person. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, yeah, think, that's what really yeah. matters. You're right. I think the reason people are going so hard on her is because she's just kind of yeah. shitty everybody. And yeah, there's a reason no other reaction channels are getting like super shit on as much as her. I mean, I guess some people are. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, like I might have had my shit with XQC, but at least she didn't teleport to my house, which is <laughs> what I can appreciate. You know, like at yeah. least she didn't that, show up to my place. That was such a stupid idea. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she got what she wanted. He stopped making videos about her. It's just True. ridiculous because it was like the True. least criticism that she was getting was from him. I feel like everybody else was being a lot meaner to her. He never brought up any of her controversies no. ever, right? It was just about her content. So yeah. it just seemed like wild that that's how far she took it. And that, that's, a, that's the most important aspect about it too. It's like his criticism was pretty much rooted in like fact and like actually dismantling yeah. her content, yeah. not her character, which I think was the most important I think the thing part that of all like, of it annoyed her the most with Jack's coverage specifically was everyone else, you know, mm. they're going to make a video going deep diving all the terrible things that she's done. And mm -hmm. that's it. You know, they're going to make yeah. one video talking about that and they're never going to touch it again because they made the video. What needed to be said was said. Jack literally had endless content. She did not see a light at the end of that tunnel. She thought that he would literally keep making that 
um, creator bingo until the day she retired. And I think, <laughs> and I think that, that terrified her. Yeah. And I think also people started uh, striking her videos and claiming them. But it's like also, yeah. if somebody's going to claim your video and they want money from it, I'm like, well, don't they, they deserve that money? Why, why yeah. not just like let them have that money and, and split it with them instead of like... Take, I don't know. It just seems like so petty. Like she's gonna take down the I, video I, I, rather than yeah. give anybody else a dime. It's like they kind of earned that. And like, <laughs> and, and honestly, how often is a video getting claimed? Like, if you're a daily channel, it's like when people in the daily sphere complain about like, oh, today's video is a ten out of ten. Like, you just eat my ass. It's gonna, you're gonna get a one out of ten tomorrow. Who cares? <laughs> like, take the fucking L today yeah. and take the W tomorrow. So I yeah, just never even, understood even that. Even with the claiming, like, if you upload a video and then someone, you know, a week later realizes that your video, which is like a daily content video use their stuff and they claim it you still made 90 percent of the revenue you were going to make on yeah. the video exactly right? yeah exactly but she chose to like delete the clips so that nobody else can make um, a dime afterwards just i don't know i felt like that to me was like something that nobody talked about but that i found kind of a little bit shitty i understand mm -hmm. if like a company like like juking media claims you and you're like those guys because they're like viral cube. yeah like i'm like i don't want to give them a dime but if a creator claimed my video and they wanted the money i'd be like please <laughs> so i don't know yeah no it's yeah it's... exactly no her her situation is just like insane the fact that like she's managed to die on this hill she's basically become like a social pariah not to youtube like youtube yeah. doesn't give a shit because they're like ah you make a million or something a month for us who cares mm -hmm. But, like, in terms of the community, it's like she's just a bigger pariah than she's ever been before. Because had she not shown up and reacted this way, nobody would even, like, really care, you know? Yeah. Honestly, if all she did was, like, just start crediting properly and been like, yeah, f***ed up, let me start crediting. I'm still going to make this That's content, what but whatever. I'm like, if she would care. credited and then, like, if Jack continued to do it, if she had then been like, yo, I'm crediting the creators... I'm trying to add more commentary. Like, what do you want from mm -hmm. me? Like, can you please stop? Then if he continued, then he would be the asshole, right? So, but she yeah. instead, she showed up at his house and became the asshole. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, you can't, you, like, the, the thing about, like, the, the social media game is, like, it's all optics at the end of yeah. the day, right? Like, we're all just people that try to look better than the other person, especially in something like this. She, her biggest fucking problem in all of this was like she she literally she i feel like she's never been criticized at all so when when she's out there doing stuff like this it, she actually thought that this was a good idea for her mm -hmm. she actually she made those instagram posts where she was outside a thousand it's like i see no problem in this and i'm like bro Genius. nobody normal would see you this see, I, I have like, a very <laughs> different take than you on this muda i think that it's not that yeah. she uh, she wasn't criticized before she didn't know what to do i think she's just like an evil person <laughs> and therefore, mm -hmm. she thought it's okay yeah. to get away yeah. with doing this stuff. Like, uh, if yeah, you look at her like laundry list of crimes... Crazy. She might be crazy. Well, like, dude. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you and her have been getting, like, you, you and her are at each other. Not at, I assume there's no, like, warfare from your end, but she's <laughs> been calling you, like, her copycat? Like, It's been so much. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even know where to start. Um, <laughs> it's... It's been basically like she's been kind of it's how do i explain this i have a whole timeline of it but basically she almost will mm -hmm. uh call me out and then copy and then call me out. it's like a schedule where she had i like now i've like uh, put down all the time she's co like copied a video idea and she would almost do it in a way to like build up this whole campaign and then i also feel like she's using fake accounts to like spread the rumors as well because there's like these really wild rumors that get spread specifically under videos where somebody is making um exposed video on her and i'm not mentioned then there'll be this, these accounts that will go under those videos and respond to everybody being like oh you think this is bad oh well you know what azilin did and then just oh make up some God. random lie and i'm like that's her <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> listen if you yeah, if you would have like told me this account, yeah. like, if you like, would have told me this a year ago i'd have been like no that's insane but in the last year with creep show art and illuminati literally doing the same thing like i, yeah. I don't know if you know what's going on caleb i'm sure you've covered this stuff right like Not they, creep show art, but Illuminati, yeah. Whatever. Like they both would have <laughs> like so these funny. these alt accounts saying, "Oh my God, you're so right, Queen." Anyway, did you hear about this other guy? Wow, yeah. I hate that dude. He's evil. He I said think I need to get list. some alts <laughs> to start dude, you know start what, spreading you know my message. Me, you know what's so funny about that? It's like if you just think about it real quick. It's like, bro, she's like rich as. She's got like after when I'm done making a YouTube video, I f off. I leave my office and I call it a day. Yeah, bro, she is on an alt account. Like, 
dude, who's got that much? Who's that terminally fucking online? <laughs> yeah, it's you know, wild. If, if instead of all of that energy put into alt accounts, you would just like. By you the know, way, allegedly it, an alt account. Alleged, I can't yeah. confirm if that's her alt account. Allegedly. Right. Allegedly, so... just credit the TikToks oh instead. I guess. <laughs> There's a. What I mean, I was going to say. There's been people who have like kind of proved that she has alt accounts in the past. Like, you know, Daisy Michelle? Nope. Mm, <laughs> Let's see. She was like, heard of the one, name, of, actually. one of Sniperl's like first victims. Um, and oh, basically, yes. oh. yeah. So Sniperl used to copyright claim Deja Michelle for just playing Call of Duty. Like Sniperl was not mentioned in the video. There was nothing about her in the video, and she would just copyright claim. No, not claims. Copyright strike her from her actual account back in the day when people like could abuse that system. And Daisy mm. was like, "You're not even in this video. Like, fuck off. I can play." I can play Call of Duty too. That's Sorry. insane. Wait, 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 I, wait, I knew wait, that wait, she wait. harassed. She copyright her. strike over oh. just. She would allegedly mm -hmm. copyright strike over just the same. Oh, game she did it with play? her main uh, or with her little Leah account. So it's not even allegedly. Like this is like she actually did that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's Jesus awful. I, I don't know. It's... I think that whoever abuses the copyright system should get banned off YouTube. Yeah. I, like that's insane. Mm -hmm. She, I knew that she bullied her off the internet. That's the story that I remember, like back in the I, day. You're thinking so, of a girl gone gamer. gamer. But you know yeah, what? That's who I was you know what, about. guys? After my interview with Nerd City, Girl Gone Gamer made a video, <gasps> actually finally saying she did what never faked the gameplay. She finally came out. You guys should show it on the stream. I'm what? so proud of her. Wait, wait, yeah, she... go look it up. I didn't get that many no views, but I'm like, I'm like, baby girl, yes. <laughs> wait, she faked. She admitted to no, faking she admitted her to like never faking play? it. She admitted to never faking it, and she's like, I. She said that bullying was so bad, she just left. And she says, I hope that you guys all realize now how self-serving all those allegations were. And then oh like, my God. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This the thing. The thing about her rabbit hole is it just like never ends. And this is the thing. It's like if she just was like, if she if she could just. This is the thing. You got to learn to take the L at some point, mm -hmm. right? Like, if, if you take the L, rightfully so, dude. You never end up in a shitty situation like this. That's true. I mean, I'm in a I'm in a situation right now. Yeah. I don't know if I can discuss it because of potential litigation, but it's like a situation where like if a party just rightfully took an L, it would never extend to the to the to the to the, I guess, uh, depth that it currently is now, right? Like, fuck. yeah. If, if a party just admitted wrongdoing, then or like, yeah, we up, let me let me make it better. That that's all you have to do, right? Like, I, I constantly go back to this one time that me and Ethan Klein had this, and I was like, yeah, I take an L, done. That's mm -hmm. it. The story is over. Yeah, pride's a sin, man. There's a reason it's a. There's a yeah. reason it's like there's, uh, you know, that's an archetype of things that just never end well. Mm -hmm. Is because being prideful just it doesn't end well. And this is like a, you know, we're communicating with people and making videos and stuff, so. Yeah. Take the L. Yeah. Take the yeah. L. People will Muda, be happy. I'm sorry They'll... if you feel like Rejoice. you might have potentially been misled by statements he's made in the past. That guy. Let's not get into details. Yeah, potentially but... I've been misled. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's uh, yeah. The the thing about creators is I like him. I found that. Look, look, I always find with creators, my favorite thing about creators too is like whenever you find the one that's like the super wholesome, nice guy of the internet. I always find that awful. Like, I'll fully admit, mm -hmm. like, I can be a complete abrasive asshole at times, yeah. but at least I own that, you know? Yeah, like, for sure. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you anything differently. And I, and I believe people should carry them that way. Sniper Wolf, before all of this, she always seemed like that, like, oh, she's really nice. She's got all of her ducks in a row. But after all of this and the way that she's treated you and like other, like her victims, mm -hmm. That is like this is a, this is the textbook example of like the bully they show you in yeah. like school, right? Like this is the guy you gotta watch out for. Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by our friends over at JamesAllen.com, the online destination for designing a customized engagement ring or any fine jewelry piece. Uh, that your significant other will love more easily than you ever thought. You want to do engravings? You want to do anything? Ladies and gentlemen, you can do that and save up to 50% more than traditional stores out there. You can choose from 200,000 certified conflict-free diamonds so you don't have to feel bad buying anything. They've both got earth-created and lab-created diamonds. 
And of course, once you pick that diamond, you can see it magnified up 360 degrees, all of that up close, high definition. You don't even need a computer. You can do it all on your phone too. So you can pick from hundreds of rings, basically rose gold, white gold, yellow gold, platinum, whatever your heart desires. And it is, again, budget friendly. Saves you up to 50% more compared to other traditional retailers. One of the things I personally like about jamesallen.com is the real-time ring inspection. I think it sets themselves apart from other websites and the amount that you can actually look at your purchase before committing to it is pretty impressive. Everything from jamesallen.com comes with a lifetime warranty, free resizing and engraving, and they've got hassle-free 30-day returns. So again, jamesallen.com is one of the fastest growing online retailers in engagement rings and that customized diamond jewelry and they've already been a part of over 200,000 actual engagements worldwide. If you want to find out more about a custom engagement ring or jewelry piece today, check out our link, bit.ly slash 3T7GSXP, 25% off when you use that link. The link will be in the description below and in the pinned comment. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the episode. What uh -huh. actually threw me and really sent me, like specifically with your case, is the fact that when she did her house tour, she wore the same dress that you wore when you did I your house that. tour. I love that. I'm gonna do a like, house tour. I'm gonna wear a dress. I'll yeah. send it to you. I'll send you the dress. <laughs> I, I, I am. I am so genuinely. I will do that. Dude. Straight I am so freaked out. <laughs> I no, it was so creepy. But not just the dress, guys. It was like she bought the exact That's same mirror as me, and then it was scene by scene the same. It was like. She, I would say something about like how I'm killing my plants and she'd be like my plants are well taken care of and I would like like she was kind of like trying to put one up on me and then I'd be like this is where my art is and then she'd be like this is where my art's going to go and it was just like a blank wall because she has no creativity <laughs> oh my you know, you know the you know the fucking wildest part about oh that God. whole thing is like if you just like really think about mm -hmm. it What's so freaky about it is like if you just put in some like really like dark like music behind it, that shit could be on like a Netflix true crime documentary of like yeah. a fucking Dude. psychopath. Have you guys yeah. seen Single White Female? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. and that's yeah. what my life felt. Yeah. She, and she was doing that shit. She's like been like hitting up like my friends and trying to like befriend everybody and trying to turn them against me. And she hit up my ex boyfriend and tried to blackmail him into like giving her dirt. And and he's like, what? Like there's no dirt to give you an Azzy. But yeah, it's like, it, she found yeah. my phone number like recently, like a few weeks ago, right after the interview. And she texted and threatened me and then pretended it wasn't her. But then I like searched the number and her name pops up and I'm like, Oh my god! Wait, you told me something that's about awesome. that before. I was gonna ask, but wait, that's how you found out? She just texted yeah. you threatening no, messages? I just, and... I just searched it, and it's like her name has been like, uh, her, like yeah, her name popped up with the number. I was like... That's, <laughs> that's amazing. That's embarrassing. I, that's so I, funny, I, dude. Like, <laughs> dude, you hear about these... You just, you just like hear about these situations, and it's, so, it's just so funny. And unreal, bro. Like it's just, it always feels so unreal she, with her. Yeah. She doesn't. But she does. She it. really thinks that she's untouchable. That's the problem. It's like she's gotten away with so much, and she thinks she can get away with anything. Has um, ha so like, we obviously know now that she's slightly unhinged with the whole showing up at people's houses. Uh, stuff. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I want to correct you. Not let let let's go beyond slightly. <laughs> let's go to fully. Yeah, unhinged. yeah. No, it was just being reasonable. I'm trying to be as reasonable as possible. I'm trying to be as unbiased yeah. as I can here. Uh, she's crazy. Now, yeah. what has she ever done? Have you guys ever met in person? Like, has there yeah. ever been any any interactions in person that that would like uh, kind of show red flags and show yeah. this kind of stuff happening? I think I've told you once, but um, so there's two times we met in person. The first time we met in person, uh, we, we we got flown out uh, to the YouTube space in London. And they had rented out a ping pong bar for everybody to like hang out and like meet each other the night before. So there was like probably like 20, 30 creators there. And I remember like everybody was mm -hmm. having fun playing ping pong except for her. She was like alone in the corner by the bar, just looking miserable. And I felt, even though she had been bullying me online, I felt bad because I was like, YouTube and real life like, it's, like separate things. Like sometimes people forget yeah. there's humans behind these channels. So I approached her and I was like, hey, do you want to come hang out with us and play ping pong? And she just made me feel so dumb. She's like, no. And I felt so stupid. And then I was like embarrassed. So I like walked away oh and then I'm like, okay. Then the rest of the whole time was awkward. So moving forward uh, at the Fortnite Pro AM games, this is the second time I met her. 
I'm like coming back from the bathroom and I see a group of friends and I know a bunch of them and they're like, Azzy! And I, I, mm-hmm. I run up towards them and then I notice that I was in the circle as well. But I'm like, whatever, just be nice. So I join the circle and I'm like, hey guys! And I started like telling like an embarrassing story and like people start like laughing at the story and then she just out of nowhere just explodes and she's like, fuck you! I can't even say the thing she was saying because we're on, she's like, da da da! And screaming at me and charges towards me to hit me and the guy beside me grabs her and holds her from fucking punching me and she oh yeah she also accused me of faking my gameplay and i'm like i'm like what i'm wow. like have you seen my she's gameplay like a, it's trash I, she's like pre-written <laughs> like you can predict what she's gonna say she, she just likes to project everything <laughs> she's yeah. like chat gpt yeah exactly <laughs> she's so <laughs> woke this is like what, what happens she's, like, she's like f this u u f and c word um you fake your gameplay and tries to punch me and i was like oh my god yeah, this is wow. an npc that became famous by yeah. accident like she's a gta character I legitimately yeah i was afraid to talk about this before but like now i feel better because i don't know i was yeah. afraid to talk about it before do you do you, are you are you often like do you i gotta i gotta say with like the the way that she's treated you do you ever like get like law enforcement involved or like somebody to like a restraining order like i would get a restraining order against a f-ing person like I this i probably should no joke can i can i get a like, restraining order over yeah. that stuff dude you can get a restraining order over anything in the united yeah. states i'm in canada <laughs> would i get a restraining order in the u.s or would i get a restraining order in canada how does that work? oh true you since you're a canadian both. citizen i don't know how that works you can, you can, I mean, it's really just like filing paperwork with like the yeah. court and giving them a reason. Like the whole point of the restraining order is like this person has shown behavior where they like constantly yeah. intrude into your life, and you're actually genuine. You, I feel like if I was in your situation, I would be actually worried for my safety because I, I any person, <laughs> yeah. like any person that shows up to your mm-hmm. house, and and again, like a restraining order, if you feel like your safety is like no 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 court is going to argue against that. They're going to yeah. be like, oh, you feel unsafe? Okay, cool. Also, restraining orders is a, are just there. This is not. Not just your yeah. average you. person that you're getting your restraining order against. Yeah, this, this is, is someone with a lot of influence, <laughs> power, and a lot of a money. Lot of influence, yeah. power, money, but also she has a criminal record, right? Like she has. Yeah, a criminal true. Record. That's a good point. She's, you can uh, uh, get a test one against all three of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can, yeah, you we can, can, you can. You can do a trial or <laughs> yeah, a trial run. Get a trial run. See if it works. Yeah. If it see works on us, it'll is. definitely work on us. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't want one against you no, guys. I want to hang out and balance this up. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, well, the thing with the thing with like her is just like I'm glad that you mentioned the criminal record because what is it for? Like armed ro- ar- arm armed robbery, robbery. and domestic abuse. Domestic abuse and armed robbery. Yo. Wait, what? Yeah, she. It was like fighting dom- domestic abuse uh, okay. and disorderly conduct or something. But she says yeah. it was just for yelling. But if you like look into the lawsuit, it says like domestic abuse there. Which is like, I mean that like, and that that's enough to get a restraining order on. Yeah. If, you, if you get on a domestic, yeah. come on now. It's it's just with her like the way that she's been acting to everyone. It's just I think she is like a massive threat. And one thing I'm really shocked is like it's not just with Jack. It's with your like statement. Even just today and throughout like you describing this with everybody else, you know, Nerd City and whatnot. It's like she has proven to be more than a bad actor in general. Yeah. You know, like. If if anybody else was to do this on YouTube, that wasn't her. Like if me and Caleb were doing this to people, we'd be being removed. If I'd be in jail. Doing, we'd be removed. Yeah. And I'd also yeah. like yeah. to say that I'd be better at it than her. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just on. beside the point, though. <laughs> I would not be. I'm just kidding. Well, good thing you're not doing it. The, I, yeah, I think I think the I think the wearing oh the same God. dress is enough for me to like completely be like just shocked by how unhinged somebody has to be. I like will that. do that. I, I'm doing a house or I'm moving soon. I'll I'll uh, I'll, yeah. I'll get me a red dress and I'll do a little house tour I'll, and I'll I, show I my art. I can send you mine or I can send you the link if it's still for sale. <laughs> It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Jesus that would be Christ, that... that would actually be yeah. legendary to be. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's taking one step above her. She had to buy her own dress to copy Azzy Land. You're using mm-hmm. the same. How dress. did she find it? That's how did she scary. find it? There's millions of red dresses. True. Millions Popular and red like, dress. I, no, try see, finding my... it. I guarantee you can't find it. I guarantee no, you I try. Yeah. I dare you. I'm not you know, you know what? Okay. She listen. She's. If I have to guess, she probably has like employees working Dude, for her. She hired someone like, to make the dress just to copy. She it. hired Mike Ermin Trout <laughs> to, to to track down the dress. Little do you know, it was your dress. Have you seen the dress since? 
Oh, yo, yeah, I looked right away. It was there. Okay, that's funny. Well, like, the, the, thing with, the thing with the dress, too, is, like, the fact that she was able to hunt it down. I'm like, if she has, like, an employee that works for her, and I don't know if Sausage was with her at the time, could you imagine having to work for somebody like that and then them potentially telling you to, like, track down this woman's red dress? Like, somebody had to be hired to, like, look into your video and, like, actually track down where the... Dude, for all you know, she, she dropped a good $10 million on a house to have white walls and, all, and you know, the same layout as Azzy's, too. Who knows how far it goes? Oh yeah, God. Her, yeah, and, and like I, I think it's so insane that somebody who's like because here's the thing: you guys are making this daily like content, and and you know, yeah, you could probably point out similarities too, mm -hmm. but like this yeah. whole copying out style, it's like it's such a weird thing to be saying. Like I could go out and say, yeah, I'm uh, Caleb, you're copying my style, or Charlie, you're copying my style. Like it just sounds really shitty. Mm -hmm. Like at the end of the day, you know, it's like it's, it's reaction content. Like yeah. shut up. Yeah, it's also we, YouTube, we're not our right? Content. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking YouTube. This is like barely real yeah. life. Barely. <laughs> and and, and yeah. I'll say it like this: if somebody like copied my style or copy the topic that I was doing or like took inspiration for something I wouldn't get really toasted about it I'd be like oh that's great that person like obviously watches and they found this worth talking about like it's yeah. funny I think that's how it's most not YouTubers costing me. feel it doesn't, I think most yeah. YouTubers feel that way but a lot of viewers do get like I remember Caleb made a video like right after Charlie at, at one point and he oh, got yeah. so much hate for copying Charlie's idea which is just like huh well, dude so that 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 was I tweeted that like big debacle back in 2021. Oh, right. That's how it started. I tweeted, right, right, right. I said, Charlie ripped me off. And it was a joke because it was me. I said I had beat him to the adult diaper tier list video. And I, I, it was a picture of me in an adult diaper. And I was like, this is obviously funny enough. People are going to think that this is like a joke or, you know, I'm just an idiot, whatever. Uh, but he like <laughs> mentioned it in a video briefly the next day. He made a video about YouTubers copying each other. <laughs> like the focal point and i was like oh <laughs> shit i think i was misunderstood here whoa yeah it was pretty bad no, the, the, and that, that was the thing too it's like like when somebody accused me of it i'm like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry this guy had like the fucking monopoly on this discussion yeah. but also it's like we're also friends like it happens we, we, yeah, we for sure. refer to each other back mm -hmm. and forth so youtube that's is always about you... optimizing you know yeah. mr b started doing like his big open-faced thumbnail like taking up half the screen with his face and everyone started mm. doing that. Like, that's not I love it. that it's... you mentioned Mr. Beast because that's another target of Sniper Wolf's harassment now. It's like complaining about his fucking, uh, like... What? Apparently, like, remember how Mr. Beast had the react stuff, too? Mr. Beast like, copied wow. Sniper Wolf, apparently. Oh, yeah. my oh God. My hey, you remember God. that? Like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Like, it's like, you're, she's so delusional. I, You know what I kind of thought about that? I thought that she saw what happened with me because I was actually... I had surpassed her in views and I was like... my on the way to like passing her in subs and and then she did this whole campaign and then they like our our channels like ricocheted off each other i can show you a graph yeah. um and then i think she thought maybe if like i do the same thing mr beast i can take all his subs <laughs> but like obviously like, not that, oh that's like, this is the wildest mentality to have too because i can like, see that's, her that's thinking fucking, that yeah like if but like the thing Go ahead, see. sorry. No, if she would say something like that, yes, it worked on Aziland. I was thinking maybe I could steal Mr. Beast's entire subscriber base too. Right? You could see her say, oh you could God. hear her yeah. say that and be like, yeah, that sounds, sounds about right. Part she hasn't posted course. much. Right? You know how scary? I... Well, I mean, obviously she was demonetized. She has no f***ing incentive no, to post anything right now. Oh, but man. That's like, that's... Also, like, who knows? She might be, like, self-sabotaging and so that, like, because she knows she's going to lose this lawsuit. So she might just wanting to put the value as low as Got possible. Gotcha, yeah. Right. Um, like, oh, yeah. Can I send you guys like a photo? Does that have work here? Uh, yeah. Work? There's, um, oh, if you photo. put it on like Injure or something, you could probably link it to us. Um, or you can could, I, you could send it yeah, to me. Yeah. I'll just send it. To yeah, I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send it to you. Ooh, no, my man. Yeah, she she is a uh, like the the thing about the thing about her is like the way that it's now been shown is she doesn't really even care about being like a content creator for the fun of it and like for the audience it's like how do I like the audience is literally just a fucking data point to her and like yeah. any like uh, any any like uh, inspiration she could graph for or graft for her channel like you know something that another creator does it's like just how do I cannibalize this other person or like can steal their growth it's so. She she scummy. is without a doubt not a scummy. She is like a fucking evil individual. I've met scummy people. Very recently, I've met scummy people, but she <laughs> is genuinely very evil. Like she is. I, I almost I almost have to like respect her because she's such a. 
fucking perfect villain, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. It's, yeah, she it's, even, like, <laughs> tells people their, like, plans, her plans, too. Yeah, like, dude, she, she's it's, like, movie. it's a cartoon-like character. Like, it's, like, it's, I mean, and again, I don't want to downplay her actual, like, harassment, but it's, like, she is, hands down, like, one of the fucking most insane, just, g- villain. Like, she's a cartoon villain. Like, she, it's, like, she, she, I feel that after she, like, shits on somebody or harasses them or, like, he shows up to Jack's house. She like does the evil fucking, like Palpatine laugh in her fucking house. <laughs> it's so fucking I, I weird. Sent, I sent you guys the graphs. This is actually oh. kind of insane. Uh, that's wild. Oh, oh, to touch on your on your thing though about her being a mm-hmm. villain. Uh, so she actually and, and when she texted me, she told Kill me that she's going to spread this rumor about me, and I'm like, like basically, I don't want to say the rumor out loud because I don't want to platform her rumor, but. And it's really messed up. And I'm like, but you're telling me about this? Isn't this kind of like give me like like a heads up? I don't know. It's like the, yeah, she, the James Bond like, villain that needs to tell the hero his plan before he kills yeah, him. Yeah, and you're like, ha ha ha. Yeah, and that's, that's the wildest thing about it, too. It's like, I really feel like I'm... I don't feel like I'm witnessing. I, I am actually witnessing a fucking so, like, psychopath unravel in front of my eyes. It's just insane. Oh, by the way, that um, graph was sent to me by um, a YouTuber called Henry Resilient. He's like a he's a uh, retired in- investigator. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what yeah, is so that? Here, I think I can show this. Who got it? Who said it? Yeah, Henry, I, 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 Henry I gotcha, okay. Resilient. Yeah. So for anybody looking at it, my God, this is like holy like, fuck! Things don't happen like that. Like our channels went. Doop. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She she has to have like some that is some fucking that is that is that is, that is a lesson in data science right there. Jesus Christ, yeah. that doesn't Honestly, happen out of nowhere. Drama, if you do well, drama works. You know, like um, mm-hmm. if you can <laughs> continually yeah. ride yeah. that wave, if you could successfully take someone down, whether you were just or not, if you could do it successfully, you'll you know you'll get away with it. And I think we we see that a lot, especially like in the more commentary esque scene. Uh, who is that? Nick Nick's not green, right? That guy. Yeah, Nick is not like, green. He made all those videos God. about um, super mega allegations, and he really and he was proven to basically be talking out of his ass, for, as far as I remember. I don't I don't know all the details, mm-hmm. but basically, when he made those allegations against super mega, he was doing really well, and he lost like twenty, thirty thousand subscribers over the last like two weeks or whatever. Uh, ever since it was disproven. Well, like the the thing the thing about it is, it's like you're kind of playing on a fucking tightrope. Like usually when and and again, like it's not like if I ever cover somebody or like expose them, it's not out of like oh I'm trying to beat you because I'm trying to get a one up on you in the algorithm or like beat your channel to nothing. It's usually over like a course of some serious you know, it's over a serious situation and it's not meant to really attack you as a person. It's meant to like look at a situation and shut it down. When you're yeah. when you're when you're covering a situation, you have to make sure every T is crossed, every I is dotted, because mm-hmm. you're really risking your own channel at that moment too. Like even in a situation recently where I guess like litigation's been threatened against me, like I trust me, the entire month has been the most stressful month. Like anybody that says that I did this out of like I wanted to make money. It's not true. Like, if I wanted to make money, there's other videos that I could make that got more viewership and way less stress, you know, uh, out yeah. of my life. But the thing is, when you're covering this, it's like you got to be 100% on the money. That Nick is not green guy is just Jesus Christ. Like, imagine playing fast and loose with like incredibly serious allegations, right? Like sexual assault stuff. That's stuff that I don't ever even touch because of, A, it's not even in my purview, and B, it's like the cops should easily be involved with shit like that. Like, that's not yeah. even. A question. I, it's not even a place for a YouTuber to start and handing out judgment, basically. Um, yeah. But yeah, his situation. But was Sniper wild. Wolf managed to get away with it a lot of times, and like you see a channel that's reaping the success of that because whoever she mm-hmm. beat down didn't want to necessarily fight back at that time. Yeah. And who you don't want to fight against terrifying. somebody who's willing to play dirty, right? No one it's wants to almost fight like them. it's almost like do you, do you want to take the stress of fighting it too, right? Like you're yeah. you've got your own stuff going on, and and the and the thing is, it really also comes down to like a size of a channel too, right? Like mm-hmm. sometimes the channels like size and the amount of stands they have just drown out any form of like logic, right? 
we see it time and time again. So it's like, you even want to engage with that and stress yourself. And yeah. if it comes out that that person is genuinely unhinged, like, like Sniper Wolf is with you, it's like, do you even want to risk aggravating that? You could be 100% in the right, but it's just a matter of like, do I want to piss off this obviously psycho individual even further? Like, one of the things that worried me the most, too, is, like, I don't know if you guys know about um, Enigma Hood, her fight with him. Yeah. Like, no. she, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She accused him of being, like, a, being a registered, like, S offender. Right. And he's not. And everybody believed her. And he's, like, hasn't been able to get a job since. Like, it's, like, ruined his life. So, and he's <laughs> getting, like, he even has people who, like, are trying to, like, like unalive him because of it. <laughs> Enigma Hood was this yeah, guy who made like Christ. critical videos about Sniper Wolf back in the day. Like he did like mm -hmm. this whole edgy persona, like wearing a hood over his face. You know, he was a small YouTuber. Like who cares, right? Yeah. Like why do you care if a YouTuber mm -hmm. with a thousand channel, a thousand subscribers is calling you out on faking gameplay or whatever? And she made an entire video on Blast because he was right. Oh, obviously, that's why he hit a nerve. Uh, she made a whole video, yeah. puts his, his channel on Blast, and calls him file i think right yeah no 100 percent. yeah and she released his real name yeah basically she copyright striked his video and then he, and he fought, fought it, it and then so she, she got his name and doxed him <laughs> yeah she doxed him and yeah yeah that's that was her, like one of her first dogs it's so mad i'm so oh. mad about that honestly because the copyright system's yeah. so broken you have to give your legal information to fight against someone who just wants to abuse you and then, I hate that too, yeah. Then she just takes the, the legal name that he gave her when he submitted the claim and was like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna basically dox this What happens if you lie your legal name in a situation like that? Is that... I don't know. Well, the interesting part about that too is very recently I found out through Jack's stuff is that you have to give your own name and you can't even give a lawyer, it seems. So you're kind of forced to do it. You can't lie on a form like that because I think perjury is a is a pretty massive stuff. For, I think I think it falls under perjury. Like if you oh, give really? them false information, so oh, you shit. probably don't even want to do that. Um, oh, which okay. the the shitty part about it is, it's like you're giving your own personal information, but you never get the other personal side. Like you never get information from the other side. And even if you do, True. most times it's just a lawyer. So it's like yeah. the system is so f***ed up in a way that you have to basically give up your own information. Even on a frivolous like DMCA claim, right? Like, and, and, the, the and, that, and that's is, when like it's also such ahead. an exploitable system. I mm -hmm. could make believe I own your content and submit a claim. Obviously, you'll fight me and you'll make win. Me. But I could do yeah. that. And for all we know, as he's, done that to me. as he's sending Caleb the the red dress so she could copyright his video. But like, listen, like, oh. and, 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 I'll, and, I'll, and I'll and I'll like say this much too. Like when it comes to like home ownership and as a content creator, like not getting fucking like copy or like uh, doxed, the amount of loops that at least I'll personally explain that I jump through are insane. Like I'm like I could own this house, right? But in reality, I have to like rent it off myself through like a family member and like somebody like two times detached from me just because if I end up getting DMCA yep. struck by some asshole yep. who just wants my information, then it, I, 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 I legally can give them the false information, right? Like I legally can provide them. And, and right. like, the thing is, you shouldn't have to do that as a creator, right? Like no. I shouldn't have yeah. to go through, a, I shouldn't have to even think, I'm like, yeah, I need a shell corp for my fucking house just because assholes want to fucking Especially because doxing live, like. is so common. Like it is so yeah. common. It's like every one idiot on Twitter feels like they, they have the ability and now the right to go do this. I mean, there was this game <laughs> that uh, that just came out a few months ago, The Coffin of Andy and Lele. And it was it's like a very edgy, controversial game. It's like an indie game where... Mm -hmm. Like, there's all this weird stuff. There's Satanism and, and like, and, you know, cannibalism. Like, Sounds it's a really good. edgy game. Yeah, dude. But the creator got doxxed <laughs> because someone on Twitter got upset. So they doxxed the creator. Dude, game of oh. the f***ing year right here. Yes! Eat that, Baldur's Gate. Oh, man. Yeah, fuck Baldur's Gate. <laughs> yeah. I'll always love the Sorry, of Andy freak. Lately. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's uh the, the whole the whole thing about like just the the DMCA system and how like creators uh, allegedly like sniper and I, I keep saying allegedly because I don't know how crazy this chick is in terms of her litigation and all that shit. I, I don't actually think she like, actually does go through with it. I don't think she's I, I mean, actually sued on it. And that that makes her that, that makes her reasonably intelligent because it's like comparing her to like Illuminati who just like I think filed a fucking lawsuit on like three people. Which, yeah. Yeah. With, with me, for example, I don't know she's not going to try to sue me because I can sue her for so much, so much more because I have so much like shit she's done to me. It just mm. would be dumb. It would be dumb to go there. How how what what has to be the mentality of somebody like this that just continually like 
I, I, it's got to be more than like I have you money and I can yeah, I do this like all the disease. time. She has like something wrong with her brain. Yeah. I think she's got. Yeah. She's yeah. got like narcissist. I mean, that's what people have said. She has a narcissistic personality disorder. I feel like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see a diagnosis of that. And also, some just like who was the Shane Dawson? Shane Dawson needs to do a sociopath documentary on her. He needs to read another book and then oh, get compelled yeah. to make a documentary on her. I, I dude, don't I miss, know if she's, a, Shane I don't Dawson, know if she's a sociopath. Shane Dawson's still around. Maybe. You, you didn't hear maybe. about this, did you? He's got two he, babies, right? You're going to love this. I don't, at that part, I don't know. But he recently made a video talking about like conspiracy theories and stuff. And he made mm-hmm. one of the worst conspiracy theories of all time. Where he bought the, his conspiracy theory was you buy makeup from like these expensive brands and then you you know you use it once and you don't like it so you can return it they have a policy that you can return it and his conspiracy yeah. is that they will just take that makeup and sell it in Goodwill or whatever like one of the knockoff stores and uh, that way they could double dip because the same they're they're making amazing margins anywhere they go right it's just the branding is that true because that's disgusting. So that that was that was his conspiracy. So he wanted to try it out. So he uh, he bought makeup, a bunch of makeup, and he like he used them, and he put like a little mark on the box or something, and he returned them. And then the next day he went to all the Goodwills in the neighborhood and bought them and <laughs> found those boxes allegedly. They don't look the same to me. Like they don't look the same. He didn't film himself buying the box. He filmed himself saying, "I'm about to go into Goodwill. This is gonna be crazy, guys." And then they filmed him in the car with a box and be like, "Whoa, the box!" They don't so, actually do film him take. It? I look. I don't know if he faked it. Maybe it was for drama or something. But it looked very fake to me. Um, to me. That Dude, I, 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 I actually, I, I could never understand the Shane Dawson documentaries. Like, I never watched one of them, but it just never really struck to me as, like, truly engaging shit. That conspiracy that you're describing, Nux, would put me to fucking sleep in the first five minutes. What the fuck? You know why like, it who wouldn't? Cares? It That's wouldn't sick. Because he uses, like, these boom sound effects and all the, every Vine sound effect in the world is in one sentence, he says, okay? <laughs> he, makes it, awesome, he makes it sound so compelling and interesting. Like, he says, um... Wait a second, if I have a phone that has dictation abilities that I could speak to it and it turns it into words, does that mean that it's listening to me? If, if me saying Siri will wake the phone up, that means it listens to everything that I say until I say Siri. And he's just like, the way you make him sound, sound is like effect. he's a, he, the way you, the way you made him sound is like he's just like a stupider version of Alex Jones. And Alex Jones, I love, <laughs> but like, damn, somehow his conspiracies hold more fucking weight than this. Jesus oh. Christ! You know what his conspiracy that I actually would like freak me out is like our phones are scanning our faces every few seconds, and he bought a, um, this type of camera that can sense the the things, and it, it does it's like a little. Yeah. And then yeah, he thought he's like, oh, yeah. you unlock all your phone with your in face. Of course, you but is TikTok scanning our scanning us all the time? Time? Well, your Wait, your phone is that? your my truck has a infrared scanner. Um, the uh, yeah, so yeah, that, that's that's the the worry about TikTok is right is that it's like it can access all that information from your phone. Nothing is safe. So yeah, no, nothing is well, safe. Yeah. It's, well, it's time remember, to move to the woods. It's, <laughs> it's time, time to start. Allegedly. It's time to start burying <laughs> sea cans and living underground like moles. Caleb, I don't understand how you can act like this and then have a car that has an infrared sensor on it. Bro, I have a, not only does it have an infrared sensor, it also has a 775 horsepower supercharged V8. All right. Jesus Christ. So basically, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Why? And it's a truck. I don't get it. It's a truck, by the way. Hell yeah. So. I don't one, have a car. One day, one day I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah, that's smart, honestly. I feel I feel like you need a car in case like she shows up to your house. Are you gonna get away? Like what's the what's the escape plan there? Yeah, are you gonna escape? <laughs> I, mean, I get a fucking parachute out the window. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. I live on like the 80th floor, so it's hard for her to get up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, never listen. Never never say hard for her. She has proven herself time and time again to be an Fair. exceptionally an Fair. exceptionally out there individual. She's the only person, <laughs> and I'll say it, the only person that has ever shown up to a creator's house that's yeah, being awesome. called out. Just, that's in before sniper. Yeah. I feel like a little bit one of those like octopus yeah. body suits with like suction cups climbing up to the 80th floor of your building. What about Frank Castle though? He kind of did that, right? True, but that is true. there's Frank a big difference. Boogie said, "Literally, come to my house. I dare you." Okay, true. that is different yeah. than Jack's playing bingo on Twitch. What about uh, Alex Rosen? He he doesn't he doesn't show up to Crater's houses, but he shows up to Files' houses. 
I feel I listen, man. Look, That's at a that dangerous point, game. Yeah, like like okay, part of me the thing about those like investigative like Maybe he doesn't show up to groups. Maybe he doesn't show up to people's houses. I shouldn't say that. He meets no, them he in shows public. Up, like, he, he, yeah, he brings them out of like Starbucks, yeah, is, which yeah, is a bet. little different. But my thing is, it's like with people like that, it's like when you're investigating somebody for shit, you better be 100% on the money. Dude. Because usually it's like if you fuck up a file investigation, and it is it is a very popular like trend on YouTube. Like this is, there's whole channels about this. Mm. If you fuck mm -hmm. that up, a, a really sick individual gets to walk away free, right? Yeah. Like EDP has literally so, been caught like, dude, so been, many times. I've been re researching uh, Alex a good bit. I met him down in San Antonio with Range Day. He was, mm. he is a chill motherfucker. That guy is cool as f They got their first life sentence for a pedo. Let's go. They did, they did a sentence? sting. They got a life sentence. Yeah, and and they have That's like a. Crazy. I think their conviction rate is like just above fifty percent now, and it's like going up, which is awesome. So they're they're like really doing legitimate. I'm I'm gonna do a big Good video work, yeah. and inter interview him pretty soon. But that that guy's a legend. Alex Rosen is a yeah. legend. Yeah, I, I really need to um, I really need to uh, set that up. I forgot. Yeah, that is a that that is actually pretty pretty. That that yeah. that I didn't know. Yeah. Most yeah. of these guys, it's like everyone that they cover, it's like ninety nine percent of them pretty much get to walk away yeah, free but a life it, sentence. Exactly. Good shit. Wait, why? Is it because they don't have like they're not legally attaining the evidence or Yeah, so a some bunch, states yeah. some states to, to even have like for a sting to be valid in a court of law, it has to be orchestrated by the police. So like oh. since he's not technically law enforcement, um that's why and like I think they did a couple in Ohio and they were just thrown out entirely. Um, because, really? And then the police can't go back and like... No, because it's like, no. they're vigilante, amateur, whatever it is. Yeah, it, it, it's really interesting. I think that they're... That doesn't make any sense. I know, yeah. That pisses me <laughs> off. What? Plus, yeah, like, yeah, like, don't get me wrong. Like, the law is f***ing insane when it comes to that shit. Mm -hmm. And I think the only reason it's like that is because... Um, when you're gathering evidence it's like you the way that you input it and the way that you gather it like there's yeah. so many laws around entrapment and there's so many like situations where it's like law enforcement handles things in a much different fashion sometimes if you get really right i, I remember one of the edp defenses was interesting because they were like edp could argue that this was like a f***ing comedy sting you know like a f***ing comedy video somehow mm -hmm. and get away with it because there was just no proof of how this came to be right. what had happened so the good know. thing is it's it's better than than not i think just overall because you're you're humiliating him for the rest of his life and he can never escape escape it not just specifically edp yeah. but the people who have gotten away with it there's still videos out there like there's not they're not gonna be able to sue and get the videos taken down because like there is mm -hmm. they're gonna get investigated if they sue uh yeah it is, there's gonna be a discovery probe and then they're gonna be found out to be a file so like it's 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 like uh the conviction rate is not great but it's getting better and i think that it's uh i don't know it's definitely better than it's better content than, than what i make <laughs> what do you guys tba <laughs> what do you guys think about all those like elite uh, omegle allegations with uh Central? omegle oh, dude, oh yeah that was strange right, stuff like, when i found out that oh you know omegle has and I'm like, boy, that's like telling me yeah, Muslims are in Mecca. Like, what? Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> no shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, those, I mean, those like, sniper wolf clips were scary, though. Like, when I saw them surfacing weird. of her, like... Oh, uh, wait, with her Omegle shit? Yeah. Weird. I, I'm going to tell you right now, if I ever came across a 14-year-old or, like, somebody under 18 and started acting sexually on the internet, it's instant so removal. Strange. Yeah, I've, yeah. <laughs> I've made a lot of Omega videos, and I was always so incredibly careful to like, and like if I saw someone Same. who looked like a kid, I was like, don't use this website. Like, especially if they knew who I was, I was like, don't get on Omegle. You're ruining your f***ing childhood right now. It's, you're putting yourself the, in danger. One of the one of the mean reasons why I never, like, went out of my way to make, like, an Omegle, like, series or a video. I think I maybe made, like, one throughout the course of, like, my, or maybe I streamed it, which wasn't the smartest idea. Mm -hmm. Was the reason I never went to Omegle is because they don't really have an age gate. They don't. So if, like, a f***ing, yeah. like, minor showed up on a video and, like, flashed their junk, for instance, oh my God, God yeah, forbid, you're... and that's recorded on my hard drive. I've technically I've stored True. like there there's so many legalities that I came into and True. um it's just like that's why I never came into it that's why like anybody that was streaming Omegle shit I'm like you are a fucking it's streaming that's crazy yeah I'm like you're a brave <laughs> soul yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I've never <laughs> literally fortunately never seen anything <laughs> horrible uh just mainly old men and dudes just jacking it pretty much yeah yeah I mean I like, yeah I, I noticed I've she was seen. like typing in lesbian as the category because she was like looking for like that. <laughs> and it was like young girls. I was like, what? 
fuck is yeah, that's this? Weird. so weird. Ah. I, again, I, I feel like yeah, what, she really what that, what doesn't think there? it through, though. Like she doesn't, she doesn't think, "Wow, this could potentially hurt me." Maybe she is such a narcissist that no, she doesn't. No, because feel she's like untouchable, she could... dude. Like even with the Jack situation, YouTube is like, "We really don't appreciate this discussion from both sides." Wait, hold on, <laughs> you can't both sides. This. That was also after <laughs> days, days of trending worldwide, people demanding YouTube do something. Right? If, yeah. if it would have just I could been just imagine a crime like in a vacuum, that would have been it. You know what I think it is? I think that I don't even think it's necessarily that they're protecting her. I think that they're worried about the ad revenue that they might have to like pay back to advertisers. I don't know. Like I think they're worried about that situation. Which I'm not I'm not excusing it. I'm just saying like that's the only thing that makes sense to me is they're just worried about advertisers pulling out or suing. <laughs> If this part of me, like, yeah. Public. Part of me sits there and wonders that maybe a lot of this happens because, like, YouTube, they don't want to be like the whole situation was. This is a, one of the biggest, like, known trending YouTubers that shows up, and maybe YouTube doesn't want to add more culpability to themselves. You know, like, yeah. Oh, this is one of our top echelon doing this. Fuck, like, may, they really wanted the situation to be slipped under the rug. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, YouTube doesn't appreciate like any of this kind of drama. They don't appreciate drama if it affect if it starts to affect them. It doesn't matter if it's just between creators. I don't think that ever matters to YouTube. It's like if creators are going at each other's throats, sure. But the moment it starts hitting the news about YouTube getting involved, it's like, come on yeah. now. I'm sure it's just gonna start like slowly. They're gonna start like lessening her views because of like what happened with Jack Films and. I think it like I just don't think they want to like make a huge statement and be like yeah <laughs> because then it gets you, it goes public. You, you think they're like a fucking methadone clinic where it's like let's just taper off her viewership first. That's what I kind of feel like might happen. I, I, Asi, I, I have a really interesting business suggestion for you. There is going to okay. be a power vacuum. Sniper Wolf is slowly but surely dying. What if I'm just asking? We somehow get an AI of you to just make every single facial reaction she makes in her videos and just upload the same video that she's done. Just with like an AI version of yourself doing it. Because I think that. Dude, what if we, what if we made you. like a Twitch extension? Like, or like a, like a Chrome extension, which is just like it replaces you with her. I think that we could donate all the money to charity or something. It's Maybe such we a good do idea. Just like have it go to like a good cause. Like, I'm like, I'm down. No, like literally, a make a Chrome extension. It's like it's like better better reaction like <laughs> extension, and then just like on every one of her videos, just put your reaction like an AI version of it over it. Just like you could and then, like, fake, whatever, deep yeah, fake that would be yourself onto her and upload every video she's ever made. <laughs> That's what I think. Uh, I mean, Evan might be taking the channel from her, so it's like Evan, if you're watching, it's true. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want to collab with Evan. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Oh. Hey, she hit up my ex-boyfriend, so it seems like that's not off the table. That's not like out of bounds for her. So, dude, that dude, is. I, so I like every. It's funny how like everyone was like, "Yo, he fumbled the bag" because they kept putting a picture of him oh. and her up. And then I'm like, I think he escaped psycho. <laughs> like, dude, minute. you want to know my theory on that? I don't even right. think that he cheated. I think that like she spread that rumor herself because it's like, where did that come from? I think she spread that rumor herself with like all these alt accounts. To mm. hide the fact that the lawsuit was happening. I'm, I'm just gonna diagnose her. She's a fucking narcissist, hundred percent. But like, being a narcissist, the first trait is having a Google alert of your name set up. So, the first viewer for this, and I'll statistically make a bet with all of you, in ten grand, she's gonna be watching this video. And fucking, so, sniper wolf, gonna, if like, you're watching, hundred percent, you are invited guys. to a future episode of the podcast. We would love to talk to you about narcissism. Yes, come to my I'm house. Saying, I, yeah. I'm saying if we have if we have Sniper Wolf on, I'm showing up to your place, Caleb, but I'm showing up with a fucking hazmat suit on. I'm Dude, I would love to interview her, honestly. That'd be awesome. I'd even let her beat me up a little bit. I would just I would just give her a boxing glove, she could beat the shit out of me. I don't care. Dude, I I, I I like she's the she's like the one character where like if she if we ever had her on I feel like she is such a master manipulator, she might even be able to like pull the wool over people's eyes oh, just I'd like end up even with her. everything that by the end. I'd end up oh, liking yeah. her by the end. Yeah. yeah. Just kidding. No. <laughs> no not, not at all. No, I, I, I'm too, like, as, like I said, like I said at the very beginning of this, I'm like, there, there's parts of me that is like a blatant asshole, and I'm like, I'm, I look through this shit very easily. Yeah, I'm like, Caleb would like, like try. Caleb would interview her with like a shock collar with like six people in the other room, and every time Caleb starts losing himself to the vixen, they would just zap him, mm -hmm. so he comes back to himself. I'm easily, <laughs> I'm no. very easily manipulated. No. Very well, easily. Even, even, even beyond trait, Sniper Wolf, too. you wanna you wanna switch out content to something else. Do you have like any like plan in mind that Me? you're switching out to? Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, a little bit. Like, I was, like, trying to find ways to... Well, actually, I don't know if I want to say say it, because I don't really want to take that. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, yeah. true. But I want to find a way to make, basically, it very transformative. And, yeah. Uh, and I'll, Or maybe even just do more... I don't know. I don't know. I can't say it. Right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's just... When you <laughs> say she Sorry. might take that, like, that's a real fear you have. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. No one should live like that. That they were afraid to say things because someone else will steal it before they can do it themselves. Yeah. Like, that's that's like, ridiculous. I'm afraid to announce this. But I'm afraid to announce what I want to do with my channel because holy shit, this person has a turnaround rate of like 24 hours after my idea to start stealing Dude, it. Dude, I, I, she's done shit like that to me too. Where I, I have um, announced stuff, then she's done it before me. I'm like, what? The <laughs> so I mean, I just like yeah. at, at this point, it's just like, man, you you are you are a much kinder soul than I am. Like the fact that you're on here and you're like giggling and you're happy and you got this attitude, I would in you like. There's a lot of like in fist clenching <laughs> that you are doing right now, and it's so well done. <laughs> I I couldn't I couldn't do that. Like if I had oh, if God. I had this arch enemy like you, I would. I don't think I could contain myself. I would just lose it like every fucking day. So that is the one thing that I have to be really commending of. Like you put on a very fucking... You you put up with a lot of shit with your fucking like... I'm a very like... uh, I don't know. I'm a very understanding person and very forgiving. But... I don't know. It still pisses me off. I think I just I try not to like let shit like that get to me too much because it's like then then it's like it's affecting me. Like when it, when you're if you're too angry about things, it's like that's toxic to yourself, right? Yeah, I mean, like what are you gonna do, right? Like it's just it's one of those situations where if you just keep getting mad at a situation, it's like it's not gonna help you and your mental health out anymore, right? Like, yeah, it's better karma to move on and things just for like you. Live. And it's been working out so far, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Karma. <laughs> dude, that, dude, that's, All of it at one time. Karma's just like, let's dude, get her for everything. I, that's what I love about like the whole karmic thing. It's like, I always have said this. I'm like, any piece of shit like, that I find and like they, they're having a good year. I'm like, just wait a year. Like Their, their actions catch up pretty f***ing well to themselves. And it's just, yeah. it's a matter of just the waiting game. And I've, I've seen that time and time on YouTube. YouTube would be a like... The thing about like having a career on this platform, let me explain something to the audience watching. It is the luckiest and in a way the easiest thing you can do, right? Like once you have a YouTube like career in any way, dude, it's so easy to maintain that your likability if you just manage to be a human being about all of this, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, if you don't make your if you don't make an asshole of yourself and you don't constantly make a fool of yourself and you don't lash out the way that Sniper Wolf has been doing, you can easily have a career. She has probably one of the sweetest gigs, the safest spots on the platform, and yet yeah. she still fumbled it. Like mm-hmm. I don't it's insane to me. The, and like, it's wild. The, like the best the whole yeah, Caleb do over it. The, 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 I'm sure we're all we're all just sucking each other's glazing each other's tips right now. But uh, the, the best thing, the, the crazy thing to me is if she just fucking, like she wouldn't have to change her content at all. Like she could just make the same videos and then just approach things differently and acknowledge wrongdoing and sort of change a little bit, right? As long as you're entertaining and nice and understanding and you have like a level of transparency. Uh, it doesn't really make what, matter what kind of content you make at the you, end of the day. You're going to find you, an audience, and it's going to be fine. Dude, and it's like it's like at the very minimum, this is a personal thing to me. Write your own fucking jokes. Just do that. You know how many fucking TikTok reactions I watch from her? Where like I literally go and watch the actual reaction on TikTok. I'm like, oh, that guy's going to say the joke, and she's going to cut that part out and use that. I'm like, at least do something that makes you into a human being. Like, Jesus yeah. Christ, everything hurts watching her so much. And I, I don't know, it's it's like, you, Sniper Wolf is, and Illuminati and all these people are the gift that keeps on giving because you could have simply taken an L, but instead you lash out, you show up to people's houses, you file the most frivolous of lawsuits, and you just continue digging your own fucking grave over yeah. and over and over again. And it could easily have been rectified with the simple, I f***ed up, I'm sorry. You know, like a genuine, yeah. like, sorry. It, people, dude, human beings f*** up all the time. We all it's have f***ed up. It's true. If you just own your f*** up, that's it, you know? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know if showing up somebody's house is a mistake. 
Yeah. No, no, that, that's. Uh, no. I will just it's say like, that's not a mistake. That's called what? That's what? That's what we call in the game premeditated. Like that's. Yeah, but, that's what we call stalking. So, so there's also a line where like apologizing at some point, owning it, is not enough. You know, when it's like. When it's some, mm-hmm. if you make a mistake, because you know you you genuinely a genuine made a mistake, and you genuinely apologize because mm-hmm. you genuinely made a mistake, you could definitely own that and keep going, right? Um, mm-hmm. But when there's like a level of crime to it, a level of like real evil, that if how could someone actually do something like this? Like I couldn't even fathom mm-hmm. a human being doing something like that. The most genuine sounding yeah. apology in the world is not going to just make me be like, oh, well, all right, let's give them another chance. You, you can't show up to another creator's yeah. house and dox their address for That's millions true. of people. And it, you think a, a genuine apology would not make me be like, wow, Sniper Wolf is actually fantastic. It's like, okay, yeah, I Yeah, like, you don't see her, like, helping him move. <laughs> yeah, obviously. No. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry, no, no, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. This, <laughs> but, like, I know that uh, we're, we're talking about Sniper Wolf today when I think Muda really wanted to talk about the completionist. <laughs> So um... Bro, no, dude, I have nothing to say on that. That's a fucking dead point, dude. I mean, I'm, dude. Trust me, when I'm facing litigation, I have nothing to talk about unless a lawyer gets involved, dude. Fair I, enough. My thing with YouTube is there are times for fun, but when you start bringing in the law, the legal people, the legalese, I bring in <laughs> law lawyers just as well, dude. I don't give a. F- that I will. The only thing I'll say about that whole story, the only thing I'll say about any of that situation is like. Um, the response he made, and I, I, I feel like I made a very, very good response back to it, and that's about the last thing I can say. Anything that comes out of this should be in a court of law or, you know, through a federal agency. I, at that point, at, at this point in time, I, 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 it's like the thing about the, the thing about this situation is his audience kind of hit me up like in private DMs. And it's like, I bet you're scared of a lawsuit there, pudgy brown boy. And I'm like okay like like what are you gonna do about a lawsuit i'm like uh, obviously defend myself i don't know what the fuck else you wanted me to say i'm not skipping the country or doing anything i'm like like people get this weird thing about like when somebody puffs their chest and says i'm gonna sue you right well yeah okay it's america you can sue fucking god if you wanted to so if you found a way to do it you probably could you know <laughs> so I, it doesn't scare me it's just a matter of defending myself you know like <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is, like, I've covered guys who are in, like, other crypto circuits. The crypto guys were the best because they immediately jumped to lawsuits. And I'm like, okay, fine. I guess I'll have to defend myself. It sucks that I have to pay money, but I guess I will. Like, it's almost like when people make this threat, it's like, you know, the other party being threatened isn't immediately, like, guilty. You shouldn't assume that. It's like a lawsuit is just that. It's like somebody files something in a courtroom and now you have to go through this long, complicated process. Yeah. But, you know, and, and then the thing is, it's like it's a lawsuit in California, so I, I'm genuinely not that worried. California, for all of its fucking insanity, <laughs> is actually very, very beneficial to me in, yeah, in this regard. When as it comes to tax knowledge. fraud, California is not where you want to be if you're going to uh, or uh, yeah. defraud a charity. Well, allegedly, or I don't want to say allegedly. allegedly. I, know, I don't want to put. I know that what in. I'm doing tonight, suing God. Apparently, <laughs> I know. I was like, shit, I'm writing yeah. that down, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, you like, can do that. I, what the? I mean, like. I mean, like, I mean, like, it's like, it's like, I'm joking, it, it, I'm joking, yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, but the thing with like the whole God point is like, you know, when you look at an insurance like slip and it's like, this is not covered by an act of God. So I'm like, oh, I guess I can't sue the insurance company. I guess we'll just go to God because clearly it's an act by him. Yeah. So what if I sued the maybe, devil for being an asshole? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's the thing. It's America. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> so it's like, shit, I don't care. Like the, the the thing is like when people hit me up and it's like they're like what is your response to it I'm like what my action you defend myself in a case it means I don't like the, the like it, this whole situation has made me realize that when you get like twelve year olds who think that they're intelligent involved in a situation who like lash out at you the thing about this whole situation and the coverage is people just flip on a dime you know it's like. You literally two days ago, he made his response, and it's like, I guess I'm the fucking villain. I make a response. Oh, I guess the whole situation flipped. What I care about is like an objective story being told with all the receipts and facts. And it's like, I even mentioned in my response, I'm like, you shouldn't take what I say at face value. That's not healthy. You shouldn't be parasocial. You should look at what I receipt I provide and use that yeah. to base it, right? And that's just any situation. Research. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I'll show you a receipt. I'll tell you what it means from my perspective. But you shouldn't... Like, if I say that 
if I make a claim, I should be able to back a claim with a piece of evidence or a piece of like a receipt that people can like assess. That's what old like YouTube was about too. Nowadays, it's like you can just say whatever the f you want, and I guess it's people will take you at your value for it. So, and I don't think that's healthy, but yeah, yeah, this whole situation is insane. Like with Sniper Wolf, it's like when when you're bringing up your situation, right? Where I'm not like. I'm not listening to you and believing everything you say because you're course, you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm believing you because I've seen the f***ing video of your house tour and her house tour. And like, that's that's enough for me to see that something is fucked up. Dude, I'm so much of it. Also, like, there's so many other things. Like, she's also, uh, she's, like, she talks with a Toronto accent. Like, I'm from Toronto. She's from Arizona. She's also started to pretend she was a French YouTuber at some point. I'm like, that's like... Canada's bilingual, so what? like, is that why she was pretending to be French? I'm like, so it, it, the whole thing is so weird. How, how can you attempt to so be French? Weird. You would have to start sounding like XQC. Why you would you want to sound like you're French? Like, it's your favorite French YouTuber, and I'm like, what the? You're not French. <laughs> I've met French Canadians. Like, they're very different sound. Yeah, the Toronto like, accent's wild, though. Like that she started <laughs> suddenly using a Toronto accent out of nowhere. Like, but, the, but somehow I'm copying her. I'm like the girl who can't even make up her. Own username. She uses like, a Toronto accent, and it's so easy to figure out it's a Toronto accent because the way you pronounce the word Toronto is like yeah, Toronto, like, not the, the pronouncing the Yeah, the exactly. Second you can immediately like like that. <laughs> that that's the thing. When I went to visit a like when I went to visit one of my friends, because everyone outside YouTube like doesn't really know me all that well. So mm. like the only way anybody like. The only way one of them was like, oh, you're a Toronto YouTuber because like <laughs> the way, cause I watched one of your videos and I'm like, oh, I could figure out you're from here. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, okay. I'm like, but it's very easy to figure out her. It like, is. I can pick a Toronto stealing, accent's easy too. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask her, you. <laughs> yeah, well, her thing is like, if she's stealing yeah. accents, what the f is going, dude, that like, that, that's she's not even good at it. She puts Mr. Beast text in her <laughs> videos and it's like, you know why? It's cause it's Mr. Beast's text. She could use any text in the world, any font in existence. Yeah. Like as long as there's like a black outline Beast's and a white inline. Yeah. It's just, it's we mind should, blowing to me. I want to, I want to invite her out to a range day one day and just like shoot guns with her. Nah, bro. Like, <laughs> she shouldn't be allowed near weapons. That's crazy. She shouldn't. I'm like, well, she should not That's be around hey, near weapons. She's not stable Texas. enough. Mm -mm. Well, would she, would she be allowed to go to a gun range in Texas? She like, has. She, 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 every, every story of hers is with a gun. <laughs> it's like before she showed up at Jack Phil's house, she was like pulling guns out of her purse and being like for self defense. And then she shows up at his house. It's like I, it was dude. psychotic. Wait, what? Dude, I was there, like, she, thank she God showed a picture outside. of a gun right before the house picture. Dude, you, oh, you didn't just see it? Wait, did you? Didn't? Oh wait, did they put him? Because that. Oh, I think it was in the podcast, the TBH podcast. They showed it. She pulls it out of her purse, and this was like a week before she showed up at Jack Phil's house. That is so like, much scarier. Oh my god. Let me send you the timestamp. Oh and my then god, he, I know. I, it's psychotic. Uh, yeah, we should play that before we end this this show. Just that that's insane. She's got um can you wait, hold on. I, I don't know the laws exactly, Caleb. You're you're the gun guy here with the laws. You can you even own a firearm if you have a felony? No, but uh, does she have a felony? She might have gotten away with this. Yeah, I don't th I think she I don't think she was No, uh, no, sorry, not a felony, but a criminal record. Yeah, with it with it I believe the only way that you are uh, you are prevented is if you, if you can't if you can't vote you can't own a firearm basically okay. so I, I she's just if she's not a felon you you can have a criminal record but I assume that she was never uh, what is it called uh, what is that word uh, like actually convicted right convicted yeah yeah, yeah. so I guess yeah. that's really all we can say about the situation it's uh, mm -hmm. it's insane yeah. you know and uh, honestly uh, I, I think I think given how unhinged she is, there's going to be more that comes out in like the the, the 2024, you know? I think the uh, That's sniper how it works. Can, it's, yeah. it's, it's almost like evil people have done like lots of evil things throughout their lifetime that they've just gotten away with. And then once the floodgates open, everything is coming. It's like with Illuminati also. She was most, mm -hmm. she, she exposed herself by making that stupid legal eagle tweet, right? Saying legal eagle <laughs> copies her, uh, her editing <laughs> style because he highlights letters in his videos just like I do, right? That tweet opened yep. the floodgates, literally opened the gates of hell upon her, and uh, everything yeah. else came out. And that's yeah. it. Shitty well, people bring it on themselves. <laughs> I mean, at some point, like, you can be shitty and get away with it, but once you cross the fucking event horizon. <laughs> Into the exactly. Into the black hole. Yeah, you're it's like 
in the line. That's why dude. anyone that gets canceled and isn't proved to just be like overall evil, it's like wow, they must be really, really good behind the scenes, <laughs> because otherwise everything yeah. would come out by now. Dude, yeah. I, I, I'm just, I'm just excited to see what 2024 has for my. I, I, I'll, I'll say this before we end. I have a, like a little dartboard in my office of like people that are just proven <laughs> to be like dumb on the internet, you know, and like, like Illuminati, like Do you actually. Cool. Yeah, like it's it's a little document on the whole computer. Like it's just sitting there. And usually when something stupid happens, I open that whole like document up. I just jot note something down and I'm like, another fucking line of stupidity. Yo, and it's just we, like a whole Can we start like a fantasy football except it's just for <laughs> for like YouTubers like what are they gonna do this time? It's yeah, like, like come on, Logan Paul's sheet, gonna like... have a controversy by the end of twenty twenty four. Well like well like you gotta have a stat sheet, right? Like we we know that we know that fucking um Sniper Wolf is like the John Wick of YouTube. She's got like concealed firearms on concealed firearms. Like she's she's got it. If I had to put up her her up against Illuminati, I'm sure she's winning the fight easily. Illuminati yeah. though, she might keep her stuck in litigation because she files. Apparently, however, who after knows? Lawsuit. Maybe Illuminati's going to do something else evil, and then that stock is going to go way up. That's why I'm telling you, fantasy uh, YouTube drama league is going right. to be epic. Wait, maybe maybe we should before we end, maybe we should make like a Nasdaq for YouTube stock of like the yes. worst people and just have their stock Hell go yeah. up. Ne- next episode, next episode, we'll all just draft the YouTubers we want for next season. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's like when you watch like fo- like a uh, Fox Business or something or like whatever. It's just like you have their ticker running underneath and it's like ah this is a shitty thing they've done fly it through the fucking roof we should oh, we yeah. should do something of that nature i feel like with these kind of people you just have to like sit from the sidelines and just make like a cute game out of it because watching their implosion is is, is almost a guarantee and uh mm-hmm. that's just all you can look at but you know we're at the end of the show here thank you as you've shown up thank on you here. guys thank no, you any- Thanks, thank, you for, thank you for being here, and thank you for putting on the bravest face when you're going up against the <laughs> most unhinged nut job of the internet. That's Jesus all I Christ. can do. This way. Yeah, that's all you really you can. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I had fun. Well, do you want to cool. do you want to pitch anything like your channel, any other channel, TikTok stuff? I don't know. Sure. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I just thank you for having me. Oh, well, well, you're welcome. <laughs> and and Sniper, and just... Sniper Wolf, if you're watching, Azzy's next video, she is going to be climbing the outside of the Empire State Building. I'm just saying, she is going to be. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Yes, yeah. I'm totally doing that. <laughs> yeah, just watch. Watch. By the time we have this up next week, you're going to see this shit show up in the news. <laughs> You see a selfie of her up there. What a coincidence! Uh, I'm here unhinged too. Arizonian social influencers yeah. climbing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> ladies, cool. anyway, ladies and gentlemen, check out Nuxtaku, Umpaville, me, and Azulan, and have a great rest of your day. We are out. Bye.